Exactly. Okay, we're live. Hello. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Good evening. Hello again. Maybe some people who were just with me. I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, hello. <laughs> um, so, um, if you're there, please introduce yourselves. Okay, T say hi. Write to us in the comments. Okay. Um, we want to ask you what TV series are you watching at the moment? Okay, what TV series are you watching at the moment? Um, just to introduce ourselves, so my name is Lisa. Uh, some of you might know me already. I'm a teacher at Marvili in Milan, and I'm from Ireland. Okay, and Sean over here is also yes. with me. Sean is also from Ireland. I'm also from Ireland. I also teach in the school in Marvili. We are colleagues. I've been uh, there since September. And Lisa was a few weeks before me she started, I think. Just a little bit before, but around the same time. <laughs> Excellent. OK, so hello, we have Valeria. Welcome, Valeria. Hello. Hi. Um, so Valeria, tell us if you can share with us what TV series have you been watching, if you're watching anything at the moment? I know a lot of people have been using Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus. <laughs> yeah. uh, Sean, have you been watching anything to keep yourself entertained? Yeah, I've been watching a lot of a lot of TV series. Um, the the one the last few days I was watching was Tiger King on Netflix. Did you hear about it? Did you see it? No, I need to watch it. I'm excited to watch it. Chago actually just said in the last webinar, he, he just finished it. <laughs> I, I, I put Chago on to, to him, so there you go. <laughs> it's nice. really good. Ah, okay. Okay, yeah, I have to watch it. I've been seeing a lot about it, so I'm excited to watch it. <laughs> uh, Okay, excellent. So, Valeria, you've been using Netflix to watch movies. Fantastic. Sarah, hello. Fantastic. Uh, you were with us in the last one. Okay, so you've been watching uh, Riverdale. Okay, Riverdale by yourself. And with your boyfriend, you're watching Narcos. Okay, very good. Yeah, I know. Boyfriends never want to watch Riverdale. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> exactly. And then we also have Francesca, also from Bologna. Fantastic. Um, so in this case, you can just say, so you either say, I don't watch TV series. So just in general, I don't watch TV series. Or at the moment, you can say, I'm not watching. I'm not watching any TV series. Okay, I'm not watching. So you can say either there. Okay. Really good. Oh, um, I don't know this one. Do you know it, Sean? Um, Toy oh, boy. boy, no, I haven't heard about this. Okay, but I think it's on Netflix. I think it's on Netflix. Okay, really good, guys. Thank you for sharing. Um, at the moment, for me, I'm I'm re-watching. So I'm watching things again, <laughs> a lot of things. Uh, so I am re-watching The Office, the, the American Office. It's a comedy TV series, so I'm watching that at the moment. Uh, but soon I'll be watching Tiger King, that Sean suggested. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Fantastic. And we have Juicy as well, joining us from Naples. Okay, so here I think probably you're talking about Netflix. That's probably just an autocorrect thing. I use Netflix to watch and see movies and TV series. Okay. Uh, okay, so Toy Boy is a Spanish. Okay, so remember TV series. So in English, we swap it around. We say TV series. Excellent. And Juicy is watching Stranger Things. Really good. Do you watch Stranger Things, Sean? Ah, 
Okay, Sean is having some connection problems, but not to worry. Okay, so guys, the reason I'm asking, okay, so the reason I'm asking what you're watching is because for this webinar, we're going to talk about crimes, okay, but not completely, okay, so we're going to practice a little bit of grammar and also we're going to practice explaining a story in English, okay, so explaining a story in English, uh, so using the past tense, okay, so using the past tense. Okay, fantastic. Okay, uh, Sal Salvo. Okay, hi, Salvo from Fer Ferrara. Uh, at the moment, I'm watching Paper House. Okay, so I think Casa Casa de la Carta, I think, is... Um, so it's funny because even though, yeah, it's Paper House is the translation, um, but in English, it's called Money Heist. Uh, they give it a completely different name, but I prefer the the original, the Spanish uh, the Spanish name, uh, Casa de Papel. Um, but yeah, that's great. I really, really like that series. It's fantastic. And that's actually a really good example story to use for speaking about crime, because it's all about crime. <laughs> um, but we can use any, so any TV series to practice today, uh, talking about the story. So we'll explain to you a bit about what we're going to do. Okay. So please guys feel free to keep sharing what you're watching. Okay, I'm just gonna go through what we'll talk about in this lesson. So like I said, past, so we're going to speak about the past. So the past continuous and the past simple, we're going to use to explain something that happened. Okay, so something that happened. Okay, and then we're also gonna look at some vocabulary. Okay, so some vocabulary uh, relating to, to crime, also to, for example, courtroom. So if any of you watch drama, law TV shows, maybe Suits, or maybe you watch, uh, I don't know, something like even Ali McBeal or something like this, something relating to law, uh, courtroom. Okay, so courtroom uh, vocabulary. So just to, to look at these. Um, and then we also have Elena. Okay, fantastic. So you're watching Designated Survivor. Oh, fantastic. Okay, really, really good. Brilliant. A really good selection of TV series. I love it. Uh, hello, Sean. <laughs> Hi. Hopefully we'll stay from now, but no, for now. <laughs> the, uh, the, the internet at the moment is so unreliable uh, because so many people are online watching TV series. <laughs> Okay, so I was just explaining to the guys that we're going to use some of the TV shows that they've um, they've been watching to try and explain the stories a little bit, but we'll get to that. Okay, so I know some of you have already um, said, okay, so some of you have already said you're watching, so for example, uh, so like I said, Money Heist, Casa de Papel, um, it's a crime TV series. Um, so can you think of any others? So any other crime TV series, okay? So ones relating to police, maybe also to law, so lawyers, um, maybe also to do with prison, okay? <laughs> so any that you can think of, please let us know. Okay, so just, um, you can write to us in the comments if you think of any others that you've watched. Can even be any crime films, okay, crime films. Uh, Sean, do you usually watch um, TV series or films related to crime? Um. There's a lot of them, so yeah, I do. It's not something that I'm looking for, but a lot <laughs> of them are very good. Um, things like Orange is the New Black and things like that. So not, you know, about police and chases and mm. things like that. But yeah, yeah. it's an really interesting the thing, subject. Do you like crime TV shows? Yeah, I really do. I find it fascinating. <laughs> Um, especially, for example, it, mm -hmm. ones that are like made, even true crime. So true crime, uh, when it's kind of a documentary oh, yeah. or something like this, I find them really interesting. Probably uh, it's a bit weird, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> oh, fantastic. So Sarah finished Peaky Blinders. That's a great example. Peaky Blinders. 
Um, so yeah, they're criminals for sure. <laughs> um, and also Elena, fantastic. How to get away with murder. That's actually a great one. I really like it. That's also on Netflix. Mm. Uh, and Christina is watching. Is so nice. yeah, La Casa de Carta. Yeah, um, La Casa de Carta, fantastic. Okay, so that's about a robbery. It's brilliant. And I'm the same. I'm waiting for season four as well. <laughs> Have you watched it, Sean? No, I haven't. No, is it good? Yeah, well, I really like it. It's um in English, it's called Money Heist, but it's actually Spanish. Um, but it's really, really good. Uh, good Spanish, sometimes. Yeah, there is. There are a lot. And also movies. Um, and then Emanuela. Welcome, Emanuela. So your favorite TV series is Good Doctor. I've heard that's really good as well. Mm. And then Scandal and The Good Wife. I, Elena, I love all these shows. They're brilliant. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love I loved The Good Wife. That was, that was a great show. I missed yeah. that. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, I got really, really, really into it. <laughs> uh, brilliant. Okay. And also, so Deborah is talking about CSI New York. Do you know it? Yeah, I do. I think there's a lot of CSI shows. Uh, I think they're really good. Um, they're very addictive to watch. Do you ever watch them? No, I've never, never watched one. For me, it's, I don't know. It's not my thing. It's just if yeah. for me, for crime to be interesting, it has to be kind of about the psychology and the families and things like that. When it's a bit too much, kind of guns and car chases, I'm not really <laughs> so interested. Yeah, <laughs> the f the funny thing with CSI is they they kind of go into the psychology, the the psychological pattern of it. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, sometimes, yeah. sometimes. <laughs> Uh, really good, excellent. And Elena, I'm addicted to DP series. Me too, me too. I totally understand. <laughs> so those are fantastic examples, guys, exactly. So these are some more as well. So some of you probably know these. So Law and Order, Dexter, Lie to Me, True Detective, Bones, CSI, Castle, NCIS, The Mentalist, Criminal Minds, actually, I think I'm getting Criminal Minds and CSI confused. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a lot of them, as you can see. Yeah, exactly. Uh, really good. So those are just some others, but also you guys have been talking about some of the more recent ones as well, because these are the ones who that have been going on for a long time as well. Really good. So on that note, we have a crime story. Okay, a crime story. Um, so in this case, what we would like you to do, so we're going to be using and practicing using either the past continuous or the past simple. Okay, so you have to take a look at this story and tell us what should be in the gaps. Okay, so should it be the past continuous or the past simple based on the, uh, the context? Okay, the context. Okay, and Castle, yeah, so Emanuela, fantastic. Yeah, I think I've heard of Castle as well. I think it was a, a crime TV series. I think it was on the list as well. Uh, I've never seen it though. Okay, um, so I might just read through this. Okay, and in the meantime, you guys can tell us what you think is missing or what it should be in the spaces. Okay, so while Jim McAdams dinner <laughs> with some good some friends <laughs> um it, his girlfriend mm, at home he mm, home a little bit drunk and couldn't find his girlfriend she mm, in the bathroom but he mm, there was a thief in their home jim mm, his gun and shot through the bathroom door five, five times unfortunately he mm, his girlfriend found guilty of the murder of his girlfriend and mm, a prison sentence for five years. Okay, this actually sounds very familiar to a real life situation. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, fantastic. So, Sarah? So the first one was stick. Really, really good. So it was having. Okay, so he was having because this was a continuous action. Okay, a continuous action. So he was having and then Valeria, fantastic. So you put his girlfriend stayed. Brilliant. So because we have while and was having, okay. So while usually comes before the past continuous, okay. So I'm just gonna. Oh, it's it's fixed. I can we can see that. Okay, and then the next line. Do you want to take this, Sean? If you can see it. Okay. So yeah, so he got home. Brilliant. He got home a little bit drunk. So the next one. Fantastic. Okay, really good, Sarah. So and Valeria, brilliant. Okay, so number four, she was showering. Past continuous. Okay, past continuous. She was showering. Oh, wow. Okay, some of you have done these all together. That's brilliant. Thanks, guys. Uh, but he thought, okay, but he thought there was a thief in their home. Fantastic. And then he found, brilliant, he found. his gun and shot through the bathroom door. He Oh, sorry, yeah, <laughs> you're right. I'll stop sharing the, the comments, Christina, sorry. <laughs> uh, that's my, my mistake, I was covering the text. Sorry, Very good, so guys, you did really, really well there. He killed, okay, killed and re received received fantastic okay really good so a good rule to remember a good rule to remember when we're using the past continuous and the past simple to tell a story okay fantastic guys really really good uh, a good rule is to remember that we use while to introduce the past continuous and when to introduce the past simple, okay? So like we can see here in the first line, while he was having, okay? While he was having, okay? And then we could say, for example, when he got home, when he got home. So while comes before past continuous. So if you're telling a story, Okay, so before past continuous and when before the past simple. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, Sean, do you want to talk a bit about some, maybe some of the vocabulary? Sure. So he got home drunk, drunk had too much to drink. Certainly, it's um, you lose control, you have too much mm -hmm. alcohol. A thief, very mm -hmm. good for crime. So, a thief is someone who steals something, someone who goes somewhere and steals. 
Another word could be a burglar, a burglar or a thief. And a gun is the weapon, I'm sure you know. Um, and to be feel of a murder. If someone finds you guilty, it means that the judge believes you did the crime, you are considered it, you're responsible for the crime. So we have guilty, you did the crime, and innocent, you didn't do the crime. And then a prison sentence, to receive a prison sentence is to be given a certain number of years in prison, so in this case, five years. Exactly. Really good. Yeah, exactly. And then, yeah, the, the word thief sometimes can get confused a lot uh, because another word, so like you said, so we can say a robber uh, or someone like that, a thief. Okay, a robber. Um, okay, really good. So that was excellent, guys. Really, really well done with that. Um, perfect. So then looking at some vocabulary, so some more vocabulary relating to crime and these you hear in your crime TV series and also in films. Okay, so suspects. Okay, suspects. So what do these mean? So what we would like you to do here, so we have the numbers, okay, the numbers, all the different things. So to match the vocabulary to the correct definition, okay, to the correct definition. So some of these might be new words, which is okay, um, but then others you might know. Okay, so tell us which ones you know and write to us in the comments. Okay, so suspects. Okay, so a suspect is actually in the vocabulary. So I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. <laughs> okay, um, but oh, they've already started. Fantastic. <laughs> They're on the ball today, aren't they? Amazing. Very, very good. Uh, so, the person who decides who is innocent or guilty. Okay, so here the guys have said a judge. Let us see. Fantastic. Brilliant. Okay, really good. So, the judge. Okay, who decides who is innocent or guilty. Or, we don't have it here, sometimes it's also the jury. Yeah. The jury, judge or jury. Uh, do you want to read the next one, Sean? So the person who saw a crime, who is that? We already have it, I think, from Francesca mm -hmm. here. A witness, very good, witness. Brilliant. Good. So a person and also you can witness. So it can be used as a verb to witness something to witness something, okay? So same as judge, you can be a judge or you can judge someone, okay? And then if you did the crime, you are, fantastic guys, okay, Francesca, brilliant. And also Elena, Sarah, you've all got this also, uh, okay. Um, so to be guilty, so if you did the crime, you are guilty, okay, guilty. Mm -hmm. So in this case, yeah. and then do you want to read the next one, Sean? If you didn't do the crime, you are the opposite. You are innocent, like I said earlier. Exactly. Okay, fantastic. Okay, wow, guys, you're going so fast. So then the next one, we can identify a murderer or even a criminal doesn't have to be a murderer, <laughs> with his or her fingerprint. Fantastic, fingerprint. Really good, guys. This is excellent. You're so fast. And then the next okay. one, a something defends the person who is accused of a crime. And we have it from Sarah, I think. Yeah, a lawyer, a lawyer defends mm -hmm. the person who is accused of a crime. Excellent. Yeah, so the law. Okay, and so yeah, we had a lot of TV shows we talked about with lawyers as well. Uh, how to get away with murder is all about lawyers as well. 
and murder. <laughs> um, okay, and then, so as someone is the object, or sorry, as something <laughs> is the object used to kill someone. Okay, fantastic. So, Elena, really good. And I know a few of you got this already as well. So, murder weapon. Murder weapon. Yeah. Brilliant. And really, really good. If the police thinks you did a crime, you are a Christina Hazard, a suspect. Yeah, Christina and Francesca, you are a suspect. A suspect is someone the police think did the crime. They don't know yet, they just think. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And then if you were grocery shopping at the time of the murder, <laughs> so at the time of the murder, if you're grocery shopping, fantastic. So guys, really, really good. You have an alibi. Alibi, which is your excuse, your excuse. And then number 10, we can't see it because Lisa can't get this off the screen. <laughs> Uh, sorry. <laughs> there we go. Who is killed is the last one there, the victim. The person, not necessarily killed, the person that the crime happens to is the victim of the crime. Exactly. So, yeah, so we use these obviously not just about murder, <laughs> but also about any type of crime. Okay, any type of crime. Yes, of course. Really good um, question, Valeria. So, how we say this is judge judge so the judge okay the judge okay and the other one we said so in a the person or the people who decide you either have a judge or a jury okay a jury so like this the jury so if it's a different type of trial so sometimes the judge makes a decision and other times a jury make the decision if someone is innocent or guilty Okay, so just like this, this is how we say it, the jury. Okay, so judge or jury. Mm. Okay. And Sean, mm. do you want to? Yeah, so this one is murder weapon. Murder weapon. So murder weapon. Okay. <laughs> it's a funny thing to pronounce. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Where's your weapon? Yeah, so weapon in general, we don't really pronounce the A, so weapon. It's a lot. Yeah. Really good. You're very welcome, guys. Okay, so then using these, okay, so not just this vocabulary, but also to practice our storytelling. Okay, our storytelling. So we're going to take a look at an example. Okay, so this is a crime timeline. Okay, a timeline. So in this, you put the event order. Okay, so the order. So we need to try, we're kind of piecing the crime together. Okay, we're, it's like a jigsaw. <laughs> so we want to put these in the correct order. Okay, so they're not in the right order. So if you want, you can just give them numbers. Okay, and tell us which comes first or which you think comes first because it's a little bit difficult. Uh, so the different things we have, the different events. Police discovers Nadine's body, a knife and a glove. Okay, so that's definitely not, maybe it's first, maybe we don't know. <laughs> Nadine's doorbell <laughs> rings. <laughs> Oliver eats at a restaurant, then leaves. Oliver is arrested for the murder of his ex-wife, Nadine. Nadine puts her children to bed. And a neighbor is out jogging, sees Oliver's car parked in front of Nadine's house. Okay, so we need to put these in order. Sean, does this story sound familiar to you? No, is it from a TV show? This is actually taken the the events they changed the names but this is very similar to the story of oj oj simpson oh it is actually i never thought about that 
Oh, God. <laughs> That's another good TV show, the, the Trial of OJ. Did you see that one? I love that. Yeah, I think it's yeah. really, really good. That, really that cool. and from the same company, uh, from the same writer the um, and director, The Assassination of Gianni Versace. It's mm, really yeah. good. Love those. Yeah, both of those were good, yeah. Yeah, they're really, really good, guys. They're also on Netflix if you're looking for recommendations, guys. So the uh, the People versus O.J. Simpson trial, and also the assassination of Gianni Versace. Okay, so Francesca uh, thinks, and so so does Sarah that the first is Oliver eats at a restaurant, then leaves. Then number two, Nadine puts her children to bed. Okay. And then number three, Nadine's doorbell rings. Okay, so we'll let you guys answer and then we'll reveal the order of the story. <laughs> OJ was released recently, isn't that crazy? I know. And he admitted <laughs> it as well. Like, yeah. Oh, dear. Justice crazy. is not perfect. Anyway. <laughs> no, that's that's why the story is so interesting when you watch the trial. It's just like how <laughs> Oh hello Massimo. Uh Nadine puts her children to bed. Okay, Oliver's arrested for the murder. Okay, so we have some different opinions. It's out. So yeah, don't worry, you don't have to write everything. You can just write the first few words when you think of the order. Mm. Police discover Nadine's body, a knife. Okay, so we'll just give you another second. Um, but yeah, I think this is very similar to the OJ, the OJ Simpson <laughs> story. Yeah, I remember the glove was a big, a big clue. Mm. Yeah, okay, and then, very good. Okay, so Elena has put four, two, three, six, one, four. Okay, so Oliver, okay. Okay, so shall we reveal the correct order? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> number one. So I think a few of you got this. Perfect. So number one, Oliver eats at a restaurant. Okay, really good. Then number two, Nadine puts her children to bed. Fantastic. A good few of you got that. Fantastic. Oh, Christina's got the whole thing written down. Fantastic. Really, really good. Uh, brilliant. And then number three, a neighbor is out. So again, as I said, this can be a little bit confusing because actually some of the events you could maybe move just depends. In this case, it's this They're one. kind of happening at the same time, you know. Yeah, exactly. Together. Yeah. Um, okay. And then number four. So I think, guys, you're very, very close. Nadine's doorbell rings. Okay. Because we have to have a witness. And then police discovers Nadine's body, number five. And then finally, Oliver is arrested. Okay. Oliver is arrested. So. Looking at these, we want to put some of these sentences into the past, okay? So like we talked about using when and while, or also maybe using it in the correct way, looking for the interrupting action, okay? If there's an interrupting action. What you can do is just take two, so two of the sentences to practice, okay? Practice putting them into the past. Okay, into the past and the past simple. Okay. So we don't want you to tell the whole story, but just to practice this a little bit. Okay, another thing. We can do is also if you want to tell us maybe the story of something you've been watching. So like the TV series, maybe explain using the past, what happened? Okay, what happened? 
So tell us what happened. Um, what's the so I not giving the story away, Sean, but can you tell us a little bit using the past simple and continuous about the lion, uh, the sorry, the Tiger King? <laughs> the Lion King or Tiger King? They're very different. <laughs> Tiger King. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can try. It's very hard because there's so many twists that um, I really can't give much away. Okay. But um, the main guy is uh, Joe Exotic. And Joe was the owner of a zoo. And uh, Joe had a series of... Um, disagreements with a woman who owned another zoo called uh, Carol mm -hmm. and uh, while Joe was our other people were planning to maybe use the situation against Joe to help their businesses so while while Joe and Carol were fighting they were doing this. I really ah. can't. I can't give details. You have to watch it. It's because <laughs> the specifics okay. are, are really crazy. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Okay, fantastic. So we have some really good examples coming in. Okay. Uh, so Juicy has. So while Oliver was eating at a restaurant, Nadine put her children to bed. Fantastic. Okay, really, really good. And then a neighbor was out jogging, saw Oliver's car uh, parked in front of exactly, or, and they saw, and they saw. Okay. While Nadine was putting her children to bed, Oliver ate at a restaurant. Yeah, exactly. So we can say it in this way really, really good. Okay. Nadine's doorbell rang. Really good. And I think this is just a typo here, but just remember, so rang. So it rang, so without an S. Oliver was arrested. Really good. Fantastic. While Nadine was putting her children to bed, the doorbell rang. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. Really good, guys. Fantastic. And also, so using this as these as examples, you can use, so practice using the past simple and the past continuous to tell us about a film or a TV series you've watched recently. So like we talked about earlier, maybe it's um, the, so uh, as I said, Money Heist in English, but it's Casa de Papel in, uh, in, in Spanish. Um, or also if you're watching something like Scandal, uh, maybe you're watching How to Get Away with Murder. Maybe you're watching Stranger Things. Okay, maybe use this to try and explain the story. Okay, to try and explain a little bit of the story. Not too much. Okay, it's just a practice. Maybe a sentence. Okay, maybe a sentence or two. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Which of the many things that you've been watching, Lisa, do you want to tell me about? <laughs> um, okay, so I can maybe talk about... I'm trying to think of something more topical, though. Okay, uh, <laughs> I'll actually just talk a little bit about the the assassination of Gianni Versace. Yeah, good. Yeah, um, so not to give too much away because I think you well, probably think you know the story. <laughs> um, but it was really, it, it's really, really interesting because um, it talks a lot about the story of the murderer. Okay, the story of the murderer and his past. So it helps you to understand maybe a little bit of what was going on in his mind. Uh, obviously, it's a TV series, so it's not complete truth, but it's interesting. Um, but basically, if you don't know the story, but you probably do, just to explain in English, while uh, Versace was out of his house, I think in Los Angeles. Is that right? Los Angeles? I know it's Miami. Miami, sorry. Okay, uh, in Miami. Um, so he was going to just, I think, get the paper. Um, so while he was going to get the paper, he was returning to his house. So he was returning to his house and he was shot, uh, unfortunately shot at his uh, gate of his house uh, by um, 
what was an almost stranger, but I think they had met like very, very briefly at some point. So it's quite interesting, the story. But um, yeah, so I definitely think if you know the story and you like crime TV series, definitely give it a watch. It's on Netflix. I think it's really, really good. It's really good acting. Um, you, I think you probably would find it annoying. <laughs> um, I think it's very strange the way Versace, the way Gianni and Donatella, when they English. speak English. <laughs> Yeah, to each annoying. other that's not realistic at all <laughs> no. it's just like tiny bits of italian and then bursting into english it's really funny i don't think donatella speaks english unless she absolutely has to <laughs> yeah but i know it's it's obviously it's made in america so they they make it more americanized <laughs> but i really like the actor who plays um the the murderer Oh, um, yeah, what's his name? Um, oh, God. Darren Chris? Uh, was that a different yeah. one? Oh, yeah, that's him, yeah. I think so, yeah. He used to be in Glee, which is very funny. Oh, a bit of a change <laughs> in career direction. Yeah, exactly. So, guys, I know you're probably writing to us, telling your stories. Um, so, please, uh, don't worry. It just takes a little while for the messages to come through. Suddenly, we'll get, like, five messages in a row. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did you ever see The Sopranos? Now that's a really great TV show. That's actually really, yeah. I used to watch it. I I haven't watched it in a really long time, but I'd love to rewatch it. Yeah, it's a good one to rewatch. I, I watched it more than once because it's 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 good. You know, when it's good, you can watch it more mm. than once. Yeah, I remember. I always remember when I was um, uh, when I was a child. My family used to watch it, but they said I was too young to watch it. I think um, you maybe were, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I used to I used to think, no, no, I can watch it. And then I'd see something, I'd be like, oh my God, it's terrifying. <laughs> I remember actually my granny used to watch it. And, you know, we all thought, you know, are you not bothered by the violence? And she said, no, it's the bad language that's worse for me. And she stopped watching it because of the bad language, not the violence. <laughs> Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, it's so crazy. And sorry, Elena, this is a fantastic example as well. Uh, while Oliver was parking his car, the neighbor saw him. Really, really good. Um, perfect. Okay, so we have an example coming in from Elena. Uh, so the TV series is Designated Survivor. Okay, so I've heard, I, th I haven't seen this, but I know... Um, Oh God, what's his name? Kiefer Sutherland, I think is in it. Um, so when the president of, so we would say the United States with an S, the United States of America, but that might just be a typo, was speaking at uh, maybe the... To the, hmm? to the nation, maybe? Yeah, maybe to the nation, maybe giving a speech to everyone. Uh, an explosion destroyed. So destroyed, just to mention, so the, the spelling is D-E-S. So D-E-S-T-O-R-O-Y-E-D. -E so destroyed, destroyed the United States Capitol. Okay, so like this, destroyed. But really good, that's a really good sentence. So when he was speaking, uh, the explosion destroyed the Capitol. Okay, very, very good. So just destroyed, just like this. Okay, destroyed. So we it becomes, I know it's strange because it's with a Y, but it's a, a kind of an exception. Yeah, the Y ones are always unusual. Mm, this one is more of an exception because usually we would, a Y would change to IED, but destroy is a bit different. Yeah, like cried or lied or something like that. Exactly. Okay, and Sean, do you want to read Francesca's example? So last week I watched uh, John Wick on TV. John was a murderer. A murderess is uh, the female version of murderer, and I don't think we'd really use it anymore. Um, mm. When he got married, he, he stopped to kill. Okay, so maybe... Uh, while he was getting married, he stopped to kill, or when he got married, I'm not really sure. 
I maybe he's that. maybe he stopped killing. He stopped killing. Like he stopped actually killing people. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Um. So. Okay. Yeah, because he was a murderer, but then when he got married, he stopped killing. Mm. So yeah, so we would say because he stopped some an action that was continuous, so we can say he stopped killing. Mm-hmm. Oh, but then we have part two. So when <laughs> when his wife died, mm-hmm. so the, the past participle of die is died. Dead is is the noun to be dead. Mm-hmm. So died, and um, he returned to kill. He uh, he returned to killing, to murdering people. Yeah, mm-hmm. very good, interesting. John, wow, really okay, good. really good. And then we also have Juicy is talking about Stranger Things. So really, really good. Um, so Stranger Things uh talks so talks or or tells we can maybe say tells the story so stranger things tells the story of four friends in the so we can say in the 80s in the 80s so 80 with an apostrophe s 80s so in the 80s while they were returning home for an evening together one of them disappeared okay Returning home after an evening together, one of them disappeared. Really good. Exactly. So that's what happened. While they were returning home, so we can just, we can take away the at. Returning home after an evening together, one of them disappeared. Really, really good. That's excellent. Okay. So just that we can say it tells the story. That's usually what we say about a film or a TV series. It tells the story. Okay, and then uh, Sean, do you want to read this one from Sarah? Yeah, so in Riverdale, when Jason Blossom was killed, his sister was asking for help. Yeah, you corrected mm-hmm. yourself exactly. So really at that good. moment, her sister was, yeah, very good use of that uh, continuous and simple there. Really, really good, guys. These mm-hmm. are excellent examples. Okay, perfect. Okay, really, really good. Um, guys, we're almost finished with this webinar, but thank you so much. You've been absolutely fantastic. Uh, so if you want to just let, maybe a couple of you are still sending, uh, or just please write to us. Or if you have any final questions, please let us know as well. We just have another minute or two. Um, but yeah, really, really nice um, examples as well. So you can see it as well, even though, we don't use crime vocabulary a lot, but when you're talking about a specific show, <laughs> a TV show or a film or maybe a book, it actually can help to describe the story. Okay, It can help to describe the story of what happened. Um, yeah, it's making me want to go and watch some TV now. <laughs> yeah, and I think at the moment, watching uh, English language TV shows is definitely a great way to keep up mm. with, with your English. Yeah, I think sometimes the American ones can be quite tricky with um, the accents and slang and things. Mm. And but um, if you watch with subtitles, that's usually helpful. Exactly, yeah, it's really helpful. And even sometimes if it's a, a shorter TV show as well. So if you're watching, for example, like I said, The the American Office or something that's a, a short TV series, it's only 20, 25 minutes long per episode, like Friends as well. Um, it's easier to, to watch uh, because it's not really, really long and it's not too complicated, but you can put on the subtitles and practice listening. Okay. Yeah, right. Well, guys, thank you so much. If there's no final questions or things to correct, uh, really, really good work. And it's been lovely talking to you all. Hope you have a fantastic yeah. evening. <laughs> yeah, have a great evening. Uh, enjoy. Happy watching. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. Bye. Bye-bye.